in chat i sending a array you need to remove duplicate from that array okay Okay, so what what is the difference between the filter and the map? Can you explain this to example? Filter and map. Filter it is used to filter out the elements. For example, like there are four elements, uh, one, two, six, eight, and if you want the elements less than five, then we can use a uh, filter. <coughs> then uh, and in map, uh, so what it does, it will compute each element of the array. Uh, for example, if you want to manipulate each element by uh, multiply each element by two or subtract each element by two, then we can do with the help of map method. Can you tell me about the scope of cones, let? A uh, scope of let and cones. They are the block scope. So you know. So what is the different type of Okay, data type in JavaScript. So J JavaScript data type it includes boolean, undefined, null, number, string. So these are the few which I can think of. So, so what is the difference between let, get, const, and what? Uh, the difference between let, where, and const is where is a function scope, whereas let and const they are the block scope. Uh, let it can't be redeclared. Uh, whereas uh, for const it can't be reinitialized and for uh, var it can be redeclared as well as reinitialized re so yeah these are the two main difference between let var and const okay so what is hosting in JavaScript? hosting uh, it allows uh, that the variable can be used before declaration so while compilation it puts the declaration at top of this scope so that is the concept of hosting okay so what is the closures so closure what it does it allows us to have the scope outer scope from the inner scope so the, uh, consider there are two function and uh, there a function inside another function so the function which is inside can have the scope of the outside function so this is uh, nothing but closure ok do you know enum? what is the enums? so enums it is used to define a set of constant values so th that is the use of enum ok yeah. what do you mean by self invoking function? what is a self invoking function? So the function it gets uh, the function which gets immediately called after the function definition without being called. So that is a nothing but self invoking function. Okay. So what is the difference between the real DOM and virtual DOM? Real DOM and virtual DOM. Uh, so real DOM the processing is a bit slower as compared to virtual DOM. Why? Because uh, suppose there are set of foods and uh, in real DOM what it happens uh, suppose there is a line a change in the line of code so what it happens it will change it will process each and every line of code whereas in virtual DOM it will process only the chain line of code and therefore the virtual DOM processing is fast okay can we change can we can web browser read JSX directly a uh, web browsers cannot read JSX as uh, so uh, so here Babel came 
comes into place the transpiler it converts jsx into javascript objects so that browser can understand okay. so what is the transpiler okay so a transpiler what it does it it is used for conversion of one source code into another source code so that is the use of transpiler what is the difference between ES6 and ES5? So, uh, difference is like ES6 is much more uh, compatible and uh, it provides much flexibility due to more features included in For example, like arrow functions or spread operator, destructuring, slice, splice, uh, then promises, callbacks. So, these are the few new features have been uh, induced ES6 which makes the life easier to work with javascript okay so on which type of component you have work like function component or class component or uh, functional components okay so what is the hooks hooks uh, hooks are nothing but a kind of simple javascript functions kind of js functions uh, like with the help of hooks uh, we can use states and life cycle methods so we can use states with the help of use state life cycle methods we can do with the help of use effect and it makes a uh, much more compatible to for developers to use so what is the use use callback so use callback in short it is used to avoid uh, unnecessary read and read and it is used to return a memoize function so, so what is the promises now what is the state information? It has st uh, stages rejected, fulfilled and pending. So uh, suppose the promise it has been rejected. So what the what it will provide? The error object. Then when the promise is pending, then the result will be undefined. And when the promise is fulfilled, the result it will provide a value. So, so can you tell me what is the promise? Why we use promises? Uh, so uh, promise is nothing but a js object it will provide the uh, like in future it will provide some value so that is a promise so why we use it when we want to wait for the outcome of an operation so at that situation it is much better Can you tell me what is the use effect hook? Uh, use effect hook, uh, it is used to perform side effects uh, like for example like what we do for mounting, updating and mounting uh, like we use use effect so yeah this is one of the example for use effect So do you know about the props and state? Uh, props and state, uh, prop it is used to pass the value from parent component to child component whereas uh, this state it is used to store the value within the component okay so how you are you you are calling apis in your system uh, with the help of axios as well as fetch so what is redux a uh, redux it is a global state management uh, so it is a js library which is used for global state management purpose and when we use when we want to deal with larger projects with large number of states then we generally use redux so okay so what is the action and reducer uh, so reducer it is a function uh, like it is a function which takes the initial state and the action and will return the updated state so that is the use of the reducer function in Redux okay. do you know about the AWS also? Uh, no I don't have any information about AWS ok so what what, what are the tags? Uh, so HTML tag it is used for indication of the uh, big the beginning of the HTML element and the end of the HTML element in the document HTML document so that is uh, used for for example paragraph tag image tag so these are the few tags examples okay. 
Oke. Okay. What is the box model in CSS? So it is nothing but a container which contains the properties such as padding, margin, border, content. So that is nothing but a CSS box model. Okay. So what is the what is the difference between padding and margin? Padding it is a space inside the component page, whereas margin is a space which is outside of the component page. So that is the difference between margin and padding. Okay. So how you give styling in your component? Uh, with the help of inline style or with the help of like we can use the global style. <laughs> okay. So what parameter that the user has to take? A uh, parameter use tick takes is uh, the function and the dependency. It is useful like if we want to render for a particular number of times. For example, if you take if we put only square bracket, so it will render only one time. Suppose if we put a state, for example, there is a ABC as a state, and for every change of state, we want to render. So we will put uh, ABC inside that uh, square bracket. So it depending on uh, the user uh, experience, uh, they can put accordingly. Do you know use memo hook? Use memo hook is used to uh, avoid the re-rendering. Also, uh, so use memo it is it returns a memoized value and it is mainly used for our re-rendering purpose, which increases the performance. So you know what is JSX? JSX it stands for JavaScript XML. It is it helps developer to write HTML in React. Can can we update for that? Can we update? No, we can't update props. So what we are using for data storage? Uh, with the help of local storage. So, do you know about the MySQL MongoDB? Yeah, I know a bit. MySQL, I know. So do you have used Firebase on JSX? Uh, no, I have. There's a use context hook. So use context hook. What it helps? It is it helps to avoid prop drilling. So, uh, what we do with the help of props, we pass the data uh, through multiple levels hierarchic in hierarchical way. But with the help of uh, context API, we can share across the components. I am done from my side. Do you have any question for me? 